Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, I have a bread and butter Bolo video for you guys. Items that I bought low and sold for $35 or less on eBay. These items I picked up at garage sales, estate sales, thrift sales. Man, I can't talk. <laughs> sales. I'm going to tell you where I got it, what I paid for it, and what it sold for. All right, we're just going to dig right in, get into some Bolos, and leave me a comment. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And let's get on with the first bolo. All right. Screen share. What am I doing? All right. Here we go. <laughs> okay. The first item is, let me just, yes, it is up. Okay. Now, this came out of my mystery box from Auctions for You, the $100 box that I bought. And if you guys missed that video, you definitely need to go watch it because it was amazing. I loved it. Woo! You guys know I love toys. All right. So this is a vintage Dragon Riders of the Sticks Ragnar action figure. And his leg is broke, guys. It's there, but it is broken. Um, it cannot be repaired. And I kind of show that here. It's literally cracked. But people will still buy these items for parts. So don't dismiss it and toss it because somebody needs that item. This is a harder to find toy. And I sold this for $15 plus shipping and it sold super fast. So um, definitely be on the lookout for this guy because who knows what he sells for if he's in good condition because he sold for 15 bucks in poor condition. He's got some paint loss. Um, yeah, he's, I mean, he's not in great condition. He's been played with. so. Um, some scuffs, some marks. Let me zoom in here for you guys. So, uh, yeah, pretty exciting about pretty excited about that one. And you can see he is made in Hong Kong on the side. So I knew when I saw him, he was pretty cool. Um, but I didn't think he would sell that quickly. So really excited about that. The next item I sold is this vintage paperweight hippo. Um, I picked this up at a thrift store and I paid $2 for it. And it was a day I was at the thrift store and I was kind of like, okay, all I'm selling is toys. I need to pick up some different things or my subscribers and viewers are going to be like, all she sells is toys. So I picked up this hippo and surprisingly, it sold super fast and I sold it for $20 best offer and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is these Chicken Little Friends books. And I almost did not list these because I knew they were a major bread and butter, but I was trying to recoup some of my money out of a mystery box. So um, I just went ahead and listed them real quick. And they sold, I wouldn't say super fast, but at a decent rate. And I took a best offer on those for $7 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is this vintage, I think it's vintage, um, I didn't put vintage in the title, so maybe it's not. But it's a Disney Winnie the Pooh v PVC figure. And I got this at the Benz. So this is in one of my Benz video. I think it's actually on my new channel, Sourcing with Bolo Buddies. I did a video over there. So if you guys want to check that out, um, digging through the Benz. Um, that's when you pay for items by weight. And this little guy doesn't weigh much. And... I was either going to lot it with other toys or I was going to comp it out and see kind of what they were selling for. Tip if, typically, if I can sell an, a minifigure for $10 or more, I'll go ahead and list it separately just because I enjoy toys and they're quick and easy to list. I did take a best offer of $9 on this and the buyer paid shipping. So that's still what a seven or $8 profit when it's all said and done. Um, I mean, that's, that's great for, Okay, worst case scenario, 10 minutes. And that includes like sourcing the item, listing it, pictures, everything. Eight bucks for 10 minutes of my time. I mean, yeah, that's awesome. Now, would it be better to get $30 for eight minutes of, or what did I say? Five minutes, 10 minutes of my time? Yeah, most definitely. But, you know, bread and butter is okay with me. All right, the next item also came out of that box from Auctions for You. And again, this is a pre-owned vintage toy. Look at his nose. Look at his eyebrow. He's got paint loss. He's got issues. Um, I went ahead and did an auction on him because I really wasn't sure how to price him. There were not a whole lot of comps, and I knew he was good, 
but I knew he was not in great shape. So I just went ahead and did an auction. I started it at $29.99 and I just disclosed that it had issues and um, it ended up selling for $30.99 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is this Star Wars Galactic Heroes Taunton Play School Heroes. So it's like some sort of dragon. I'm not super familiar with Star Wars. I think I did Google Lens on this. And um, I took a best offer of $10 and the buyer paid the shipping. And I think this came from a garage sale and I believe it was 50 cents if I remember correctly. The next item I sold is this Vintage Boy Scouts of America cookbook. Now, this is an ephemera item. It did take a long time to sell. Um, I took a best offer of $7 on this. The buyer paid the shipping. I picked this up at a garage sale and it wasn't much. So um, I think that's one thing about ephemera that I'm not a big fan of is how long it takes to sell. And with ephemera, it's like definitely hit and miss. Like it's either like a big money bolo that sells fast or you're sitting on it a long time waiting for the right buyer. Um, but that's kind of the same with jewelry. If you have the right items, then they move. And if you don't, then they sit. But uh, this took a long time to sell. So I will say that, but I had next to nothing in it. So good margins. The next item I sold is this Play School Dollhouse Doctor. And he came from a garage sale with a huge lot of like Play School items. And I sold him for... Oh, that's odd. I might have put one in the wrong order. Did I miss one? No. Hmm. Maybe I accidentally closed out the tab. Okay, so uh, this guy sold for $15. I have an elbow itch. What a weird place to have an itch. Um, $15 in the buyer paid shipping. And you guys know I like to sell dollhouse furniture. It's quick and easy and toys, quick and easy, mini figures. Um, I also sold this baby who is also from the Fisher Price Loving Family line. And I sold her for $13.50 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is this Ann Taylor brooch. And I want to give a shout out to Jersey Gypsy Corner Store. That's her eBay store name. She bought this from me. She's a subscriber viewer and I appreciate her very much. And she bought this piece for her mom. It's an Ann Taylor brooch pin. And I took a best offer of $25 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is this Veggie Tales Bob the Tomato Plush. And I sold this for $15. I picked it up in a garage sale with a lot of Veggie Tales items. And I probably had a buck in it. The next item I sold is this very, very cool vintage stick pin. So it's a hand and it's holding like a little charm. It's pretty cool. And um, this piece of felt came with the jewelry. So I'm like, well, I'm just going to stick the pin in there. I don't know. Maybe you can see it better on the white. Maybe I should have used the white now that I'm looking at it. I thought the red looked cool at the time. <laughs> what do you guys think? White or red? Red or white? Um, I ended up taking a best offer of $30 for this and I got this in a, at a garage sale with some other jewelry. So I didn't have very much in it. I would say maybe 10, 15 cents. I don't know, 25 cents, something like that. The next item I sold are these vintage Fisher price horses. Again, not in great condition, but they are vintage and they're a harder to find item. These also sold very quickly. Um, I took... Nope, they sold for asking price of $15. And they are from the um, Great Adventures Wild Western Town, uh, Fisher Price. And this also came out of the mystery box from Auctions for You. It was a great box, you guys. You should definitely go watch that video. Um, the 1991 Applause Barbie Collector Doll. Uh, this is a limited, uh, special limited edition, never removed from the box. Here she is. She's in this fancy dress with all that tool. And I took a best offer of $15 on this and got it at a garage sale for three. Now this one is not a super sought after Barbie. Um, so I just went ahead and priced it accordingly. The next item I got is this vintage Littlest Pet Shop Beethoven's Second Nuzzle Time Nursery. Get off there. Okay. So um, 
I looked this up and I was pleasantly surprised with the comps on it. So I went ahead and took the time to list it and I sold it for $15. It came out of a mystery box and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is this Fisher Price Sweet Streets Dollhouse Pet Dish for a Cat or, and then it says for the Parlor Salon. So this one I remember, I had a hard time finding it, but I finally found a comp. Um, and I wasn't really looking for a comp per se to know how to list it price wise. I more wanted to know which place that it came from. And I finally found it. Um, I took a best offer of $7 and the buyer paid shipping. And I had pennies in that. It was just in a bulk lot. The next item I sold is this Nobles Better Handwriting for Everyone. It's 1962 Education Workbook, and it is unused. I sold this for $14.99, and the buyer paid shipping, and I picked this up at a garage sale. And, and I just picked up, I think, three or four of them. Uh, in one of my other videos, or it might be this one, I sold another one recently also. The next item is this Tyco Sesame Street Juice Factory. And if you follow my channel, there was a train that I sold, a Sesame Street train. And that train was a part of this set. So this came in a mystery box and I was missing certain items that went with the whole play set. So I decided to part it out. I sold the train already and now I have the Juice Factory. And then there's a whole bunch of other items like the track and... Um, other pieces of the train replacement pieces and stuff like that that are listed separately. I ended up taking a best offer of $10.75 for this and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this Present Pets Glitter Puppy Interactive Plush Pet. And as you can see, I have a video in my description. If you wanna learn how to do that on my YouTube channel, you can search, um, add a video to your listing and I show you step-by-step step how to add a video. Now, why this is great is somebody can then go click on the item and they're gonna see how the item works and it's also gonna prove that the item works. Um, I thought that it had a cosmetic defect here on its head, but I later found out that, um, you know how when you get a toy and you have to pull the battery thing to make it work, like the little strip and it like releases the plastic from where the battery connects and then it makes it work. So this thing comes inside of a box and it breaks out of the box. I watched a YouTube video on it. So this is the little area where that strip is. So I guess they all are gonna have that, um, but I disclosed it as a defect because I didn't know at the time. And I mean, it's not super noticeable, but to me that's noticeable. So I disclosed it. Either way, I'm safe. Um, I sold this pretty quickly for $22. I picked it up in a thrift haul for $7. And one of the reasons I wanted to get this is because I wanted to put it on my new channel, Reseller Testing Products. So um, I do have a thrift haul video where I picked this up. That is on my Sourcing with Bolo Buddies YouTube channel if you want to check out what else I bought. The next item I sold is this vintage leather punch. It's a six hole rotating head and spring loaded handles. Now it is a little bit, I don't wanna say rusty, but maybe rusty, but it's smooth, if that makes sense. And I purchased this out of a dibble box from Donatella Bottolino. Um, a dibble box is a reseller box. It's a dibble bit of this and a dibble bit of that. And um, this one item sold for $15 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is this Lego Bionicle and I purchased a bunch of Bionicles in a bulk lot and I sold this one for $24 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is this vintage Polish Legion snapback truckers hat and this came from a garage sale and there's a little defect right there and um, yeah, it's not very noticeable. This is when I wish I had fake nails. <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness. Um, I keep them short because I am digging through mystery boxes. Um, so this hat I paid about 50 cents for, I think it was like an estate garage sale if I remember correctly. And I sold this for $26 and 24 cents. The next item I sold is this vintage 1983 War Duke Advanced Dungeons and Dragons action figure. This also came out of my auctions for you lot. Um, my vintage box. And again, that box was 
amazing. I sold this for $24 and the buyer paid shipping. So I think just in this video, I've already almost made my money back and this box was loaded. So um, in the video, I actually show you every listing that I got out of the box. Like I pop up screen shares and then I also show you the solds, everything that had sold so far at the time of the video. So um, it's a great learning tool. It's not just an unboxing. So definitely go check that out. I spent a lot of time on that video because I listed everything so that I could show you guys the whole box. I think there were like a handful of things that I donated. It wasn't much. The next item that I sold is this King Kong 18 inch gorilla posable action figure. I got this at a garage sale for $5 and I took a best offer of $28 and 50 cents for this. And I do believe this one went internationally, but he is a big guy. The next item I sold is this Eric Carl. I think it is uh, Carlisle. Maybe I'm not sure. Um, it's from the guy who, what is that book? Um, like Brown bear. And then he he has real like um, fancy pictures. I've sold his books before. Um, there's also board games that he are by him, but he's an artist. He's a really neat artist. I don't know if it's on the back of the, no, it's not. Shucks. I should have had something pulled up to show you guys because he is, uh, he's got some really neat stuff. But this cheetah sold for, $12 and 75 cents and the buyer paid shipping. And I believe that was a garage sale fine for like 50 cents. The next item is this uh, little Moana pig from the show Moana. I think the pig's name is Pua. I don't know if I'm saying that right or not. Pua. <laughs> uh, but it's a little cake topper deal. Um, it's got this little slot in the bottom. I'm not sure what that's for. Uh, I don't know if it goes to something or not, but this sold for $7.50. This was another item that I picked up at the bins and this sold pretty quickly uh, and the buyer paid shipping. All right, you guys, 27 Bolo items, items to be on the lookout for, items that you can buy low and sell for decent margins. And these I would say are easier to find items. All right, thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe and share. Thanks for watching.